No, it doesn't seem like it's outside either. Hmm. What do you need? Oh, can I ask you about ghosts? Sure, I guess. What do you want to know? Oh my god. How come I can see ghosts now when I couldn't before? Because you're void touched now, my friend. When that demon possessed you, you encountered magic in a pretty intimate and significant way. It left you changed. We call that change becoming void touched. Seeing ghosts, one of the side effects. Are all ghosts shapeless gray blobs? To you and me, yes. We appear the same way to them. It makes oh. communicating with them impossible. Well, if they're harmless, that's fine. Pretty much. From what I can gather, they're barely aware of where they are. Maybe even who they are. Talking to them is impossible. Trust me, I've tried. How do you know so much about ghosts? <sighs> when I saw my first ghost, I reacted much in the same way you did. I wanted to help them. It didn't seem right to just ignore them. So I read a lot. I tried to learn everything I could. Nothing worked. We all have our strengths. Mine is fire. I was no spirit medium, sadly. Huh. You know who is a spirit medium? Rosa from Blackwell. A spirit medium? Those exist? The technical term is bestower. Bestowers of eternity. Folks who can see and talk to ghosts. Help them pass on. We heard rumors of one operating in New York, but Kalash refused to make contact. Death is part of the mundane world, he would say. Not our jurisdiction. I could see his point. Definitely a reference to Rosa. A bestower would be handy to have around right now. No kidding. It could talk to the ghost and find out what happened here. Guess we figure it out the old-fashioned way. Where can we find a bestower? They don't exactly advertise. Bestowers deal with death. They tend to keep to themselves. It's not like they hand out business cards. Or <laughs> Thanks, Eli. Let's talk about something else. Sure. So, what do you think we should do? It's a shame the power's off in the Village Eye building. If we could get the electricity working, we might learn something. Figured as much. I have the feeling we will. Can we, like, walk around somehow? Or I get the feeling we should not be moving away from this location, though, right? Yeah. I don't think so. No. Let's see... Let me have a look around. There's gotta be a fuse box here. Eli, you are scratching the buttons of your coat again. With your fingernail. I am? Yes. You are not even aware of it, are you? Tuh. Uh, why is this a big deal? It indicates a loss of control. It is minimal, but... Right. I know. I'll work on that. Thank you. Mm, no, I can't see anything around here after all. No fuse box. Let's try walking around outside then. Around here? I thought we were going to the bar. It's- oh, it's the park. Her eyes are closed and she's softly humming to herself. The Temperance Fountain, surrounded by bars and junkies. Ah, it's the, the homeless people whose shelter was burnt down. A middle-aged man, mumbling to himself and glaring at anyone who approaches. Compare her face to the photo. Whoever is in that photo, this woman is not her. She's lost in her own world. Maybe we should just leave her alone. Ah, uh, the woman in the photo is this one, right? Hi. She's lost in her own world. Maybe we should just leave her alone. Rough night to be out? Rough or not, she doesn't seem to mind. See anything odd around here? I don't think she'd even notice if she did. What's that you're humming? Whatever it is, it's catchy. Tuh, <laughs> see you. Okay. Yeah, she looks kind of familiar. This picture, it's of you, isn't it? Where... where did you get that? Um... We'd like to help you, if we can. Help me? Look, lady, I've had enough help to last me a lifetime. 
I might not look it, but I'm fine. Tell everyone that Wendy is fine. You don't need to Wendy. come out here and... Wait, it's you, isn't it? You've come back. Uh... Sure, Wendy. Yeah, I've come back. I knew it. You're the master. Oh, they remember me from when I was possessed. Er, yes, I'm the master. Don't know why you sound so surprised. You've done something to your face. You've changed it somehow, but I can tell. It's you. Curious. She can see past the veil. She must be void touched. What touched? Void touched. It means... I don't give a crap what it means. And I don't give a crap about you either, master. Just... Leave me alone. I already know you're good at that. Wendy, could you tell me what happened at the village I building? Why should I? <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. Loitering in this park is a crime. I'll report you if you don't tell me. You really want the cops involved? I thought that's why you left in the first place. So get out of here. Take your new followers and go. Wait, followers? You heard me. It's like a cult. I've lost my memory. I don't remember anything about you or anyone else. You... what? You're serious, aren't you? You didn't just leave us. You forgot about us. It's a bit more complicated than that, but yes. We are trying to piece together what happened. Can you help us? No, it's done. It's over. If you've forgotten about it, then maybe I can too. Just leave me alone. Earlier, they were saying that the graffitis looked like worship. They might have been worshipping me. You said I left you? What do you mean by that? What do I mean? You left. Left us to fend for ourselves, and it all went to shit. Me, I'm back where I started. Others weren't so lucky. Others? What others? You never cared, did you? Oh. All that time. I knew it. I just didn't want to believe it. There's a ghost in the village I building. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't talk about it, don't even think about it! Just don't. If there's a ghost there, does that mean the person died in the building? Could it be the guy? Who's the guy in the picture with you? You really don't remember anything, do you? You've even forgotten Jordan, your precious protege. Well, he's gone, no thanks to you. Could you tell me about Jordan? He and I were a, a thing, kind of. I, I don't know. We're nothing anymore. He's gone. He left soon after you. He's probably dead. Not that you care. I'll leave you alone. Please, don't come back. Learn some precious information here. Jordan and Wendy. Oh, we can't talk to that guy. Okay. Well, that seems to be it for here. Oh, Wendy. Wendy might be the password to the laptop. Gotta remember that part. Just so we are clear, we are not calling you master. <laughs> okay. Uh, still haven't solved the electricity problem yet, though. This manhole cover is firmly attached to the street. Are you trying to lift a manhole cover with your bare hands? You never know. Maybe the demon gave her super strength. <laughs> Could you please... I guess not. Sorry. Sad, but could you help me lift it up with a sword, maybe? It's kind of, you know, disrespecting your sword, maybe, but I'm really hoping you can help me out. Are you lifting with your knees? Yes. Oh, yeah! Bracing. Fortuitous that I have kept up my training. I was a little worried your sword would snap. The manhole's open, a ladder leads down, under the street. At least the rain is washing away most of the smell. If not the heat, I am positively sweltering. I admit that my knowledge of sanitation systems is... lacking. But should this water be boiling? No. Uh, no. I don't think so. No. Then we indeed have a mystery on our hands. The water in this pool is boiling like a raging tea kettle. There's gotta be a electricity-related thing here. 
hot steam pours out of the pipe like a geyser. Oh, is that it? Steam. Oh, I thought we would get some electricity thing here, but I mean this fuse. A valve is attached to this pipe. Hold on, can we turn it? Be careful. The heat in this room is kind of off the scale. Could you... Uh, I mean, could you do something about it? I don't know. Ah, because you're... you're immune. Eli Becker. Mage, accountant, and plumber. And sometimes all three. Thank you, Eli. If the heat makes him uncomfortable, he gives no sign. Oh, uh, we turned it, but did anything happen? A rusty panel containing an imposing solitary keyhole. A small sign reads, emergency drainage system for flood conditions only. Only. Need a key. Come on. I'm not sure what ah! you're trying to do there. <laughs> it's a key, goddammit. It's god... Ugh, not quite there. We need a key. Need a key. I feel like I've got to have missed the fuse box somewhere really obvious. <laughs> Aww. Yes? Could I ask you about ghosts? I admit to not knowing much about the subject. Eli has made a study of them. I would recommend asking him. Okay. Any ideas on what we should do next? The Village Eye was not a very engaging publication, but I am sad to see it in such disrepair. Perhaps we can do something to fix that. Yes, and that's that's the problem here. Agreed. All right, let's let's figure this out. It's got to be we've got to have this somewhere. We got a lot of pieces about the laptop already, but the fuse, the fuse. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Can Eli just light the place up with fire? Is that a thing? That's weird. Come on! Is there a problem? The darkness, it's fighting the light. It always does. I'm being literal. Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. Ah, we gotta remember, we can use Eli like that too. Hey, thank goodness for the sewer, because I otherwise probably wouldn't have thought about that. There is a fuse box! There we go! Oh Come my god! Gobsmacked. It's a forest. A forest in a basement. Well, that explains why my fire's so weak down here. Probably a natural defense mechanism for whatever this is. What happened to the ghost? This tree stump grows out of solid concrete. Its surface is covered in... Is that blood? This blanket is covered with moss and lichen. Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Whoever this was, their face has been eaten away by some kind of moss. Male. Early to mid-sixties, I believe. The cause of death is difficult to determine. He's got vines growing out of him. Does that mean he died a long time ago? Probably not, because this seems like a natural growth. What could do this? I cannot say, but I believe the answer lies with you. Oh. Your vision. You were familiar with this building. Whatever happened here, you were involved. Or at least your demon self was. You don't remember anything. No other visions spring to mind. I'm sorry. I wish I could be more help. Don't apologize. It's not your fault. No doubt your demon covered its tracks well before leaving your mind. So, who is he? He has no distinguishing marks. He carries no identification. Whoever this is, it remains a mystery. I hope it's not Jordan. <gasps> Can you hear us? It is a lost spirit. It cannot communicate. Are you sure about that? It does appear... agitated. Let us leave it be. It's fuzzy and indistinct. It stares blankly ahead, barely noticing you are even here. 
Hello? No response. I am not surprised. Can you hear me? Lost spirits cannot communicate with the living. Could I ask you a few questions? The lost spirit will not acknowledge your presence. Never mind. Well, at least we got the electricity going on again, which means the computer should work. Jordan. We sectioned him off. Not, uh, not we, but for some reason, he was sectioned off. It's, apparently, I'm some type of master, though, so it does seem kind of... There we go. The computer thrums with power. Don't you mean the CPU? Journal. Wendy. Entry 1. Master says I should start this journal explaining who I am and how I got here. My name is Jordan. Three months ago, I was fired from my job at a crappy electronics store. Two weeks ago, my landlord evicted me because I couldn't pay the rent. I was on the street. In the middle of this brutal winter, the homeless shelter was completely full. I thought I was going to freeze to death. Master found me. She brought me here. She gave me clothes and warm food and this laptop. She insists I keep a journal of my experiences here. She also says I should call her master. That's fine. I don't care. I am safe here, and I'm not leaving. That's the vision. Heck, if it keeps me alive, I'll call her God. What? So he's a homeless guy, and I brought him here? Okay. Entry 2. The master brought a few more people in. They are all homeless like me. They are all sick. This old guy has lung cancer, so bad he is coughing up blood. There is this girl named Wendy who looks to be in incredible pain. Me? I'm so cold. It's so hard for me to get warm, but at least I'm not dying. Entry 3 Master brought us downstairs. There is a tree growing up through the floor. A tree! Master said it is an altar of life, and it will protect us and heal us if we do the same. She will teach us now. All we have to do is let her cut us and we bleed on the altar. Entry 4 Oh my god! The energy! Oh man, it's incredible! I am warm, I am warm, so so warm, it feels so good! Oh, there were some demonic rituals going on here. Entry 5 I have never felt this good. This cold has completely left my body. The old guy's cough is gone. He's even breathing normally and Wendy is walking around without any pain. Praise the master! Entry 6 There are seven of us now. Master has been cutting us every few weeks. It seems crazy. But we heal up right away and we're healthy. That's the important thing. Praise the master. I would be dead if it wasn't for her. We all would. Is she gathering- or am I gathering blood or something? My demonic self? Callie, let's call her. Entry 7 Merry Christmas. The tree is growing. There is grass on the floor of the basement. It's concrete! With the master, anything is possible. Entry 8 The master needs to leave for a while, and now I'm being put in charge. Me! In charge! I am so honored! Maybe I should password protect this laptop, since I'm so important now? Entry 9 It's nice having my privacy, but it's kind of lonely in here. I asked Wendy if she would stay the night with me. She said yes. Entry 10. I cut the old guy. He bled like crazy. He didn't heal. I had to run over bandages. Thank god he's okay. Entry 11. It's freezing in here. I turn the radiator up full blast. It does nothing. Ooh. After I left, it all just started not working anymore. Why did I need the blood? Like, what was I trying to do here? Entry 12. Wendy is limping. The old guy is coughing. I can't stop shivering. The ritual doesn't work anymore! Master, where are you? You've been gone for almost two months! Entry 13 Can barely feel the keys. Hands are numb. I can't help these people anymore. I can't help myself. Entry 14 I have to leave. I am sorry, Master. I can't do it. Putting Wendy in charge. I'm sorry. So the guy dead in the basement should be the coughing guy then, the old man. Blood rituals used for healing, that is perverse and wrong. 
It may be wrong, but it does explain the forest downstairs, its unspent life energy. It created excess life. Beauty can hide all manner of evil, Eli. You know this more than anyone. I sense a story here, Eli. Oh, it's uh, nothing. Just a little run-in with a golem and a succubus that got a... A story for another time? Right. <clears throat> Blood rituals, dark magic, bad stuff. Yes. Yes, Eli. Bad stuff. If I understand that journal right, the ritual stopped working when the, uh, <clears throat> master left. Which means that only you, or rather your demon, could perform it. Then why leave Jordan in charge? That's a good question. One more reason to track it down. In the meantime, I really want to know more about this ritual. Let's get to it. After you. Okay. Well, I suppose maybe we can try talking to the ghost? Can we somehow communicate with him though? I imagine he's still not gonna know how to talk to us, and vice versa. I don't think it could hear us. Yeah. I don't think it could hear us. That's a problem. That's a problem. Do you guys have any tips for me then? What do you need? <laughs> I walked all the way next to the, the ghost. So what do you think we should do? According to that journal, someone named Wendy was put in charge of whatever's going on at the village eye. I'd say we speak to her. Okay, makes sense. Although, we already spoke to her. I have the feeling we will. I thought we had to speak to her first to get access to the laptop, but I guess not because her name was on that piece of paper. We didn't actually need to talk to her to begin with. Okay, makes sense. I'm back. We read Jordan's journal. Shit, I knew I should have tossed that computer. Oh, the cat's out of the bag now. You proud of yourself, master? Whatever you think I did, it wasn't me. Oh, of course it's true. Oh, really? Then who taught us those blood rituals? Because it sure wasn't the Tooth Fairy. You took us all in, you saved us, I guess, maybe. Every month you'd do the ritual, you'd cut one of us, we'd bleed on the altar. Then you'd say those words, and we'd heal. Better, stronger, faster than before. It was like a drug. Life energy. That's what you were being fed. That explains the wildlife in the basement. It must be residual life magic. Whatever it was, it felt good. Does that have to do with how Wendy is supposedly void touched? Because she was interacting with the demonic me? What happened after Jordan left? It all ended, is what happened. Jordan was so happy when you put him in charge. He tried, he really did. But he just got too sick. But whatever you did to us, the healing, it stopped working when you left. So he put me in charge. Me. And I just made things worse. Something must have happened, or you wouldn't be out here. I failed everyone. I was supposed to help them, but instead I... I cut with a knife. I said those stupid words again and again and again. It didn't work, so I had to try harder. The murdered man in the basement. You took the blood ritual too far. It was an accident, I swear. No, don't accuse her. D did it work? Obviously not. <laughs> I don't really like any of these choices. Okay, did it work? No, it didn't work. Would I be out here in the rain if it did? I put him on the altar. I took the knife and I... I killed him. By accident. I must have been nervous. I thought that was the end of it, but then... His spirit. It came back. It was horrible. We couldn't stay. Every time it saw us, it would... scream. Us? You... Jordan left. So you and who? So it drove you out? Yes. And so I came here. 
I don't want to be around people anymore. You speak the truth. You believe me. Hooray. It is not a matter of belief. I simply know what truth is. Thank you for sharing it with us. Well, there's no point in lying anymore, is there? The master here was just as much involved as me. And something tells me you aren't going to turn her in. You s uh, Where is that knife now? You think I'm an idiot? I tossed it down a storm drain. Ah. What? Why did you do that? Why do you think? It's probably halfway to Jersey by now, and good riddance. I wasn't sure if asking this was a good idea. It seemed kind of personal. You said you needed healing. What was wrong with you? Cerebral palsy on my left side. It was bad before. I could barely handle sewer duty. It's much worse now. Sewer duty? You seriously don't remember? The pipes in the building leaked. Overflow from the sewer. It was disgusting. You couldn't exactly call a plumber, so you made us go into the sewer and drain it from there. We went down there so much, Jordan had to swipe a key to the control panel. Where's that key to the sewer control panel? You serious? You never wanted to bother with that before. But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel, behind one of the pipes. Oh! Wow. We're gonna fix this. Don't worry. Don't do me any favors. This mess is yours, master. Do whatever you like. Honestly, saying that, it's a nice thing, but it's not like we can help her with her condition, and we can't give her a home. Goodbye, Wendy, and good luck. If I was lucky, I never would have met you in the first place. Yeah, there's not really much that we could do for her. Seeing us again is just bringing back all the bad memories. <sighs> she threw the knife down a storm drain. Damn it. I can't blame her, but damn it. Magically imbued tools take weeks to make. I really hope to study it. Hold on, Eli. We might be okay here. Hmm. So the knife is behind one of the pipes to the right. I wonder if we could have found this beforehand. Huh. Looks like Wendy was right. Like if we just accidentally rolled over here, would we be able to find it? I don't know. Well, there you go. Turn it on! Whoa! For the love of God, turn it back on! Okay, I'll turn the water back on. Wait. Wait. Master? Master! <gasps> Master, is that you? Is that Jordan? Oh no. Maybe I was once, but I'm not anymore. Remember how this guy had a problem with being cold? Oh, but now he's eternally burning. No, you just can't leave me. Not again. Not yet. Please. I know. I failed you. I couldn't leave them. I, I was too weak. I tried. I tried so hard, but it was just too much. What happened? Look at me! This is what happened! Do you remember, Master, how you found me? Frozen half to death on the street? I almost died. You saved me. You healed me. Brought me back from certain death. Uh, why would I want to lie? Mm. Maybe to make him feel better? I remember. So do I. I will never forget it. You were so kind. You showed me how to heal. We were going to heal the entire city. But I couldn't do it without you. When you left, the power left too. The chill, the cold, it came back. I couldn't stop it. It just got worse and worse. I couldn't heal myself, let alone anyone else, so I left. I had to find something. Anything that could help me get warm again. I'm so, so sorry, Jordan. It's not your fault, Master. Don't blame yourself. You warned me about that spell. I didn't listen. 
But I was so desperate. I was freezing to death. The bed in that homeless shelter wasn't warm enough. You taught me a spell that would let warmth into my heart. So I spoke it. Then this happened. You were inside the homeless shelter when you cast the spell? Yes. They were the only ones who would take me in. That's why it burned no, down. you misunderstand. The shelter, it burned to the ground. Was... was anyone hurt? Oh, I don't know if I want to... Let's focus on helping you for now. Do you really think I can be helped? I don't deserve it. I know I don't, but if there's any chance, help me before I hurt anyone else. I have some questions first. Anything you want. A knife was tossed down here. Have you seen it? The knife? You mean your knife? Yes, I saw it fall down here. I took it. I hid it. Just in case you ever came back. Could you get it for us? I'd love to study it. I suppose. After you help me? These guys all know how to bargain. <laughs> Eli, can you do anything to help him? I've been trying, but the fire, it's different. It's self-generating, self-sustaining. Even submerging himself in water couldn't snuff him out. I've never seen anything like it. I need to know more about his condition before I can even attempt a cure. Why can't you get that knife for us now? Master, this is all too much. I served you faithfully, then you left when I needed you the most. Yeah. How do I know you won't leave again? Cure me, help me, do that and I will get the knife for you gladly. Uh, yeah, well, we spoke to Wendy. I didn't want to leave them. Wendy, least of all. She leads them now. She's keeping them all safe. Oh. Wendy killed someone on the altar. She... she what? Why would she do that? Standard escalation. More blood, more power. I want this to end. Please, just let it all end. Oh, I... If you can give us the knife right now, we really would like it. I understand that, Master, and I am truly sorry. Help me find a way to cure me. Anything at all. Then I will return your knife. Fair enough. Goodbye, Jordan. We'll be back. Thank you, Master. I don't think I was expecting this when I came down here and turned off that... the drain the water. The flames dance up and down Jordan's body, obscuring his features and making you dizzy. If the heat makes him uncomfortable, he gives no sign. Oh, well we gotta help him out somehow. How? Poor guy. He played with powerful magic he had no business using. He hurt dozens of innocents. He was desperate. He made a human mistake. In that, we are in agreement. Yeah, it's not like he intended to kill those people. He just happened to... be really, really, really careless. Can we do anything about this building, then? Evening, ma'am. Do you know anything about the Village Eye building? They went out of business, didn't they? Squatters were living in that building for a while, but I think they've cleared out. You let them stay there? The owner never filed a complaint, so legally we weren't required to investigate. Didn't stop us from keeping an eye on the place, though. Is there any chance I can take a look around back there? Oh, I didn't see this one. So you saw nothing illegal going on at the Village Eye? Nothing we could see from the outside, no. But to be honest, it wasn't exactly high on our priority list. Is there any chance I can take a look around back there? Um, no. In case it wasn't clear, this is a crime scene, which means stay back. You need to let me back there. Oh, really? Give me one reason. My sister has been missing for days. I think she was living here. Your sister, huh? 
Well, like I told you, they brought everyone to Beth Israel. If your sister was here, she was probably brought there. I already checked. She wasn't there. Please, let me look inside. Then I don't know what to tell you. What do you expect to find here, anyway? Maybe there's a clue inside? Some indication she was here. If there is any kind of clue in there, it's probably burnt up. I'm sorry, but I really don't know what I can do for you. Oh, God. <laughs> Crying? Would that work? Um, well... I mean, all of these appeal to something emotionally. I'm sorry. It's just been... so hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible when something like this happens. But, really, I don't know what... <laughs> oh, God. No, uh, please, don't do that. Damn it. <laughs> Fine, get in, quick, before I change my mind. Just don't make me regret this. I look harmless. Just let me in. That was an impressive performance. I feel like I should applaud. Or maybe shout bravo. You certainly have a flair for deception. We will discuss this later. Let us find what we came for. Well, you gotta remember what my old job was. Charred walls stand unsteadily against the night sky. A lone locker stands intact amidst the ruins, covered in ice. What? Wow. Well, it seems like that's it. Is something the matter? <gasps> this thing is freezing. Freezing? That is certainly interesting. Eli, touch it. How is this possible? This building was on fire not too long ago. I know. Bizarre contradiction, isn't it? That's magic for you. So you believe this is magic related? Are people still saying, duh, because, well, duh? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I cannot say I am impressed with the mundane authorities. They should have noticed this when inspecting the site. They should have. Not necessarily. That officer said this place burnt down about a week ago. It wasn't raining then, which means that no ice should have formed. Hmm. Perhaps you are correct. And perhaps this was meant to be. If there is danger here, we should be the ones to face it. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Come on, melt! Is everything alright? Everything's fine. It's just something inside is fighting back. There! Nicely done. That's me, Eli Beckett, enemy of ice. I feel like we're gonna let something out bad. Exposure to fire and ice has warped this locker's metal to an alarming degree. Oh my god. Well, that's definitely our cold source, alright. Uh, it kinda looks like there's a person inside. A thick ice block has formed inside the locker. A faint shape is visible inside. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Hmm. Now that it's out of the open air and the warm rain is coming down, I should be able to... Jesus! The body is beginning to thaw out. Look at that. Not a burn mark on him. The ice protected him from the fire? It also froze him to death, but if you want to get technical, sure. It protected him from the fire. Is that the old man then? Wait, who is? Oh my god. What could cause something like this? Well, I might be going out on a limb here, but I'm going to say magic. Indeed. This cold is not natural. Neither is the smell. Ugh. Does his body look familiar to you? Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell, you know, with all the frostbite and things. I admit, he does look slightly recognizable. But as to who, I cannot say. 
This young man is covered in ice. He looks slightly familiar, but you can't quite place it. Have we seen him before? I mean, it's not Jordan, because we've already seen... J Wait. <gasps> oh my god! Holy crap! It's Jordan! Yes, I'm as surprised as you are. The quality of that photo isn't so great, but it's definitely the same guy. The evidence is undeniable. Jordan sought a way to remove the cold invading his body. It appears he failed. Oh, that's so messed up. Because he killed everybody at the shelter. But he himself died frozen in ice. Oh, and what we saw was not a real person, which should have been clear already to begin with, I feel like, because he was burning the whole time. So what did we see in the sewer? Another ghost? No, we would not have been able to converse with it if so. We spoke to Jordan, not a lost spirit. At least, not one in the traditional sense. His soul transmuted, escaped his body, and became something else. He is alive, just no longer human. He's become a fire elemental, a spirit bound to a body of flame. Oh no. Oh, I don't think he meant to do it on purpose. Can we reverse it? No, no we can't. And even if we could, his human body is dead. There's nothing for him to go back to. Regardless, we cannot allow a fire elemental to run loose in the city sewers. Um, uh, Eli, you're the fire expert. Any thoughts? Thoughts? I have plenty of thoughts. None of them nice. Let me mull them over for a bit, okay? We should hear Jordan out before deciding anything, anyway. Right, let's go. Uh, I guess we're not telling the officer about the body. How the heck did they miss an entire body in their investigations? Seriously? Let's leave that body alone, okay? Let's. Look, I hope your sister's okay. I really do. Just don't come back here, okay? I could get into some serious trouble. You probably want to take a better look at what's inside. The mundane authorities are indeed incompetent. Oh dear. Master? We went to the shelter, Jordan. You did? What did you find? Oh, I don't even know how to give him the news. You froze to death in the shelter. I... what? I'm dead? No, uh, not exactly. You're a fire elemental now. You're alive, you're just in a new body. A body made of flame. That's why the flames are self-sustaining. You aren't on fire, you are fire. So there's no cure? Oh, um, no. Your human body is dead. There's no getting around that. But you're kind of immortal now. That's something, isn't it? You mean I have to live like this forever? Um, yeah. You should have left me in the cold, Master! You should have left me to die! No, oh, he's just lashing out. I'm sorry. There's only so much Eli can do, right? We won't abandon you, Jordan. We'll think of something. Thank you, Master! Look, we do have one option. I'm a fire mage. I can control and channel fire. Given enough time, I can remove the fire from your spirit. Eli, what you are proposing... Will be incredibly painful, I know. Painful? It will feel like being skinned alive. But it will kill me? Eventually. Then I'll do it. Don't be an asshole. Are you sure this is the only option? No. No, it is not. I will not allow you to do this. Not when there is another way. Another way? There are others of your kind. Fire elementals. A whole world of them. Yeah, in another dimension, across the void. How do you propose to get him there? Jordan is a creature of spirit now, which means he can traverse the void. I can lend him the energy required and show him how to open the way. 
So we can, what, spend eternity with fire people? Wait, eternity? It is a one-way trip, Jordan. Life there will not be easy, but perhaps you can find a home there, a life. But what kind of life would that oh, be? Oh, no. One that continues. Sure, on an alien world, in an alien dimension, all alone. There will be others of his kind. In time, they might accept him. And if they don't, he'll be stuck there forever. So the alternative is to murder him? It's mercy. If I was in his shoes, I'd want the same. But you are not in his shoes. You cannot make that choice for him. And neither can you. That is true. Jordan, what say you? I... I don't know! Do you really want to live like this? Better a life like this than no life at all. But what kind of life would that be? One that continues. Sure. That's tough, because we don't know what it's going to be like across. This is like the whole demon thing all over again. There will be others of his kind. He won't he have to eat any human flesh, will he? Him. Eat what? No. <laughs> his flames are the source of his energy, and will provide most of the fuel required. I will lend him the rest. The effect on me will be minimal. I will recover. And if they don't, they'll be stuck there forever. What if he just so stay down here? the alternative is to murder him? Stay down here? Like this? I... I can't! This needs to end! Agreed. He cannot stay here, and he is much too dangerous to leave loose. This needs to be settled now. Besides, it's only a matter of time before some sanitation worker comes down here and gets the shock of his life. It's mercy. It's if your I decision, was Jordan. Shoes, I want the. I. I can't. This is all too much. Master, I know you've done your best. Whatever you decide, I will do. But you are not in his shoes. You cannot make that oh, choice. Oh, this for is him. tricky because we really don't know. Oh. This is even more that ambiguous than the demon thing earlier. True. Jordan, what say you? Mm. I. I don't know. Do you really want to live like this? Let's... Better a life like this than no life at all. He's not in pain, is he? Because he's a fire be? elemental. So it shouldn't be One painful. That continues. Sure. Oh, I don't know. World, in an alien dimension, all alone. You should go across there the void. You'll be happier coming. there. In time, they... Yes! Yes! Master, you are right! Maybe this is what was meant to be! Maybe you saved me that night for this very reason! Maybe I have some purpose to fulfill in this new dimension! Okay, I am ready! You two should wait above ground. I will help him transfer across the void. Oh, this one was tough. I guess he's on his way by now. Off to his new life. Assuming you can call it life. You think we did the right thing? I don't know. He has a chance out there. More than he would here. A chance is better than nothing? Maybe. But to live through eternity without seeing another human being? I couldn't take it. I know that much. Well, there's other fire elementals. It might be nice to live in another world. I've seen pictures of fire dimensions. They look like hell, literally. I know what I am. I'm not entirely normal, but I know that I'm human. I know that I'm me. If I lose that, then I lose everything. So, is he? Yes, he has gone through the void. Is he okay? I believe he will be. Eventually. Only time will tell. He did retrieve the ritual knife for me before he left. Well, that's something. I'll study it back at the lab. I know the routine. I shall call ahead and have pizza delivered. It's like you read my mind. I feel like this is one of those instances where 
being merciful is not necessarily the actually merciful option. I feel even more unsure about this than the first demon decision. We don't know what life in that new world is gonna be like. Oh my god. And I guess that ends off our first case. Wow, that's... That was something. I feel like it's a little bit unfair for Jordan to put it on me like that. That's a really big decision that literally affects the rest of his life. Oh my god. If he was more like Eli, if he had a defined thought about what he wanted, that would be easy, but he didn't. Well, what's, what's done is done. We'll just have to see what happens. Hopefully, life there is better than being dead. We don't know.